A man to watch. In a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts, will he add more today on EA TV? And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's United, and they face Brentford. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. A look at the starting 11 for United. Well, they're going to play with two wingers here, but I'm just a little bit worried that the centre forward could become isolated. Therefore, the midfield players need to get forward as much as possible in this 4-3-3 shape. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Brentford. Well, it's great to see both teams using wingers. It's now just a case of which team uses them best and which pair get the better crosses into the box. It should be a good watch. And the match begins. Jack. And it's a quality pass. Well, plenty of zip on the shot but he couldn't put it away. Well, you're right, he certainly strikes it well, but he's got his angles all wrong there. Well, as we look at the table, the opportunity very much there for the hosts to go top if they can win. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast at the moment, but I have to say they've looked a top-class team so far. They're certainly playing some very good football. We start. Vermont. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Ryan. And the snuffing out of the cross there. And a fine cross. The cross was very much on, but not the end result they were hoping for. And he takes it away. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's certainly the man to watch in the last game scored those three goals but his general play was outstanding he looked a threat whenever he got the ball and I'm sure he's going to be the same threat today against this defence and he takes on the shot and nicely parried away oh that's top notch goalkeeping you've got to say could be dangerous Well, possession keeps on changing hands. That's problematic. Jensen. Well, having won it back high up, what can they do next? In with a chance! Can they put it away? And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. Let's 
take another look at this and from the attacking point of view everything's right a shot across the goalkeeper players coming in for the rebound and there's not much the goalkeeper could do about that he made a good effort on the first one couldn't react to the second One nil then. Trying his luck. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Pick out a teammate. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Well, spot on with that challenge. Really good build up, but no end product. Flores with it. Can they hit on the break? And then with a real chance. Great moment. And there it is. An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one. But they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. The ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace, the keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So the action underway once more, and it's beginning to look as though it's a case of how many for United. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Just straying offside. Yeah. And possession lost, intercepted. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's putting in a really authoritative performance here. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. And so the second half is underway. They took quite the thrashing in that first 45. Can they turn things around now? Wasteful from United. Attacking with vigor. And the referee says penalty.
Let's take another look. He deceives the goalkeeper really well here by getting to dive one way before placing it into the opposite side. A really good penalty. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Well, the situation has changed, I'm hearing, in the Brighton game. Alex Scott can tell us more. It's a goal for Brighton. They're at the level. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. But well, we had a decent reading of that ball in. Well, credit to the goalkeeper, because that was a terrific save just to keep their two-goal lead here. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football, and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front, but the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Well, I think he's still got a few years left in him. He still looks fit and sharp and still has that desire. What a good signing this could be. And defensive play to be applauded. And teammates around him. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Barker. Well, just a quick reminder, more live football coming your way here on EA TV. I think you might enjoy this game. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Goals and plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Apologies for that. To confirm, Brighton have scored in that match, and it's now even Steven, 1-1. This looks interesting. Superbly read and executed. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And I'm hearing something has happened in the Brighton game. Alex Scott has the details. It's a second goal for the Gunners. It's now 2-1 with 76 minutes on the clock. What a fascinating matchup we have here today, Derek. Alex with the info as ever. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Oh, that's splendid play from a long way out. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. United had the ball, but not anymore. Teammate and support. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. And coolly done despite the mounting pressure. Barker. 
Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. But he's certainly not alone. consolation at this stage of the proceedings they haven't been at the best well just look at the defending here the keeper is left totally exposed it's an easy goal in the end but well taken Well, this is far from over. We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. Alford. Well, the fans want to see a shot. And it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his market, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals. I've just got a couple of questions I want to ask you about the match. Thank you, that's all the questions we have for you.